Hello YouTubers and welcome to episode 12 of season 2 of One Time Releases. Today we're going to take a look back at Jimmy Lugwrench, the Retro Piston Cup Racer number 26 from Cars 3. Before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. <clears throat> Jimmy Lugwrench is a Piston Cup racer resembling a 1950, obviously resembling a 1950 Nash Ambassador like Louise Nash, but modified and upgraded, who raced in the Piston Cup for Grand Oil Oil Company and Arrow. He shares the same number as Eli Turnpike, a car who, a car similar to Junior Moon, who had been released only one time in the form of a diecast in a two pack back in 2019, but in the film, um, bears the number 28. And during his appearance in Cars 3, he was seen... He was first seen in the footage, achieved footage of the fabulous Doc Hudson's crash in 1954, and another time during Smokey's flashback when he was racing in Thomasville in 1951. And during his diecast releases, he was released only one time as a single for 2021 and hasn't received a single re-release as a diecast ever since. And I even got him from Traders World. And now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here you've got his happy facial expression, his grill, his chrome silver gray front bumper, red tail lights, and his light tan exterior paintwork, no tampons on the hood, and on both sides we've got the gray rims on the black wall tires and the his door, red number 26. Arrow, trucking and shipping, an arrow with a clock on the back, Grand Oil, oil company, Sweet Lake, North, Sunset Lake, North Carolina, the gas cap, and on the top we've got his name signatures saying Jimmy Lugwrench, the red number 26, and on the trunk we've got the red number 26, the Grand Oil, oil company, the red tail lights, and the Chrome silver gray back bumper, the exhaust pipe, and the license plate saying J04-810K and the underneath on the undercarriage it says Mattel Disney slash Pixar made in Thailand. And that is it. Now let's pull up some of the other 1950s piston cup racers. We have Louise Nash, or should I say Louise Barnstormer Nash, Lee Weathers, which is actually my take on Lee Weathers himself, and the fabulous Doc Hudson Hornet. And that is it. So, what do you guys think? Which 1950s Piston Cup racer is your favorite? Which car for the final episode should I record next? Although I am now down to Dracula Mater for tomorrow. And do you wish for Eli Turnpike, which I'll leave him in the description if you, in case if you don't know him, in the description down in, 
wish to be to be re-released as a regular diecast but with a correct number 28. Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some, some of my other videos on my channel, and please consider the support on change.org. I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye now!